Hello Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. Today I wanted to do a video of my favorite Noble Collection replica, Ravenclaw's Diadem. Now you've seen the diadem in previous videos, but never a dedicated video review of this incredibly beautiful piece. It almost makes me wish I were a Ravenclaw, but alas, earwax, I am a proud Slytherin. This is the box that the Noble Collection replica comes in. Unfortunately, the animal that they've chosen to put on the box is a raven, but the rest of the box is really nice. It's a dark brown color with silver foiled detailing on the corners, little flowers there and some swirls. And that design and detail is on all four sides as well as the top of the box It's not on the bottom of the box that just has some trademark information So it's a great storage display box for your diadem and then when you open it up dun -dun -dun -dun, It's sitting on satin and then on the back of the lid is the Ravenclaw crest also in silver foiling But here's the black satin that it's molded perfectly into, so it makes it look very lush and expensive and royal when you open up the box and reveal the diadem inside. So let's just pop this out here. Now, there is some good news for you Ravenclaws. The top of the diadem features an eagle. Actually, the entire diadem is supposed to be an eagle. So the gem here is its body, and then all of the diamonds here are the wings. But this is very clearly an eagle when you look at the head of the animal on the diadem. Now, these are not real diamonds, but the dispersion and reflection, you know, of the stones make them look like diamonds. So it looks like, you know, a, a tiara or a crown or the diadem filled with precious stones. But look at that spark. The Niffler in me is freaking out at how sparkly this is. Now what I love about this piece, beside the fact that it's an eagle and not a raven, the little details that were put into it, the diamond for the eagle's eye, the metal work that was done, the very fine wiring that make up the eagle's wings and feathers, how they all attach to each other, the four dangling stones on each side of the wings, just give it an authentic feel. I mean, there's so much detail on, on this piece. A lot of people don't know this, but this, along with many of the other props in the Harry Potter movies, was designed by Mina Lima. So Mina Lima, who did all the paper product designs, like the Daily Prophet newspapers, packaging for the Weasley's Wizard Weezes products. All of that was designed by Mina Lima, and props like this were also designed by Mina Lima. On the base of the diadem, looks almost like a scroll, and in the scroll are the words that were said by Rowena Ravenclaw, one of the founders of Hogwarts and the founder of Ravenclaw House. Wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure. So the traits that are looked for in a Ravenclaw for Ravenclaw students are learning, wit, creativity, intelligence. So wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure. That's something that's valued in Ravenclaw House. It's just a beautiful, stunning piece. And something that you guys don't know that I've never really shared before, I used to cut gemstones or facet gemstones, never diamonds. Diamonds are too hard of a stone for me to cut with the equipment that I have, but I would cut precious colored gems and semi-precious colored gems like garnets and sapphires. So that's one of the reasons why I love this piece so much is because I have a background in you know cutting gemstones. The back itself is very plain. You just see some metal soldering work as well as the licensing or copyright information stamped on, on the back. And this is actually something you can wear. So if you have a Ravenclaw cosplay or something, you can purchase this diadem and stick it on your head and there you go. It doesn't fit on my head very well, but you can actually wear it. Now this item from Noble Collection is on the more expensive side. It cost $129. If you don't mind if your diadem is used, I would first check eBay to see if there is a used one on there for sale. A lot of times you can find Noble Collection replicas on eBay for a lot less expensive if they're just used. And used could mean it sat on a shelf and was looked at and enjoyed and displayed and never actually touched or handled. So if you don't mind if yours is used, I would check eBay first. Another tip is I wouldn't recommend purchasing this from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. They sell it there. 
but they charge $150 for it. So you can purchase it directly from Noble Collection for less money. Unless you're like, I really wanna just buy the diadem from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I wanna go into Filch's Emporium, which is the shop that is inside of Hogwarts Castle, and purchase Ravenclaw's diadem. I totally understand that, but if you want to save money and don't necessarily care if you purchased it directly from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, you can purchase it directly from Noble Collection for less. And that's actually true for a lot of Noble Collection items at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Their prices are usually higher than purchasing directly from Noble Collection. But again, I totally understand. You're in the Wizarding World purchasing as opposed to going on your computer and ordering from an online store. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, or anything else, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?